Tuesday Eagles and welcome to ENN. My name is Kai. My name is Tiffany. My name is Alexa. My name is Jaden. My name is Adeline. And my name is Winter. We are fourth graders from Miss Lontera's class. Let's start off with our PBIS. Spread your wings and answer this question. Eagles, how do you fly? Respectful, responsible, safe and kind. Eagle heart and eagle mind. Now it's time to honor the U.S. flag. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Now, the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas. One state under God, one indivisible. Happy PLC Thursday, everyone, and welcome to ENN Light. So let's jump straight into the news with that reminder that, yes, this is PLC Thursday. Teachers, please review the schedule that's been posted on email. And remind, it's a little bit different this time. You're going to see all of the highlights on the chart. That means that your kids will be in your classroom during PLC coverage, so we need your help. Please provide a very simple assignment that can be completed. It could be on the Chromebooks or it could be any other assignment that will keep our students busy and learning during that PLC coverage time. Next up, I have that reminder about our book of the month and our writing samples that are due tomorrow. Thank you again to our third grade team for putting together that beautiful board. Looking forward to the writing. But... I do have a celebration in store. Congratulations to Miss Gray's class. They were the first group to send in their writing sample, so they are going to be rewarded. They're going to get, earn an extra 50 minutes at lunch, and the students will be able to enjoy an esports party in the library. Congratulations, fifth graders! Moving on in the news, I have a reminder about those Thanksgiving tickets. If you do not purchase one ahead of time, you will not have food on November 7th, the day of our Thanksgiving lunch. So take care of that with Miss Rosie in the cafeteria. And a reminder again about our amazing Veterans Day celebration taking place November 8th. Again, teachers, I sent a very lengthy email with all the details about the event. Here are some screenshots from that email. It shows the map of our big parade and it has all the details about what each grade level should be doing to prepare. It shows you which armed forces your grade level will be representing. It is the same as last year. And then it shows how should your class prepare. Again, a reminder to third to fifth grade, start working on those essays to celebrate our veterans. We need you to select one winning essay from your class, which then will be reviewed by the committee so we can have a winner for each grade level and those winning essays will be read to our veterans on November 8th during their reception. Thank you everybody for your help with this. Please also remember to pass out the invitations that were sent out to classrooms yesterday.
We have two eagles celebrating their birthday on this Thursday. So a big birthday shout out to Regina Trejo in first grade and Elisa Guzman Hernandez in second grade. But wait, there's more. We have a staff member celebrating her sweet 16 today. So a big birthday shout out to Miss Carla Chaparro, our third grade dual language teacher. Happy birthday, everybody. Thanks for watching ENN Light on this Thursday. We will be back live tomorrow at the Eagle's Nest. Bye.